Okay, welcome to level four. Um, level four is going to be compound problems. And these are really challenging. Um, just to read my shorthand, A, this, this literally means the area of the triangle. So everybody, if you look at this triangle, all the angles are marked congruent, so each angle will be how many degrees? 60. 60, 60, 60, right? So that makes an equilateral triangle. So how long would this be? Four. Why is it four? Because it's equilateral. How long would this one be? Four. Four. So now, we know our equilateral triangle area formula is S over 2 squared, square root of 3. S over 2 squared, square root of 3. So if S is 4, what's 4 divided by 2? 2. What's 2 squared? 4. So it's going to be 4 square root of 3 units squared. That's familiar. Okay? The perimeter of the triangle is also really easy. It's just 4 plus 4 plus 4. So that would be 12. 12 units. That's easy. Okay. Here's where it gets messy. The area of the rectangle. Remember, the area of a rectangle is base times height. What's the base of this rectangle? Four. Four. Does anyone know what the height is? Nope. It's x, right? So it's going to be four times x. Can we just put four x? No. We would like to, but we've got to figure out what x is. So does everybody see that this is a right triangle right here? Yeah. Everybody get that? Yeah. So let's think. What would this distance here be? Half of four. Two, two and a half. Yeah, two. <laughs> two. Does everybody get that? Yes. Okay. So now, can we use the Pythagorean theorem? After all, how long is this? Four. Four. So what would be the A, B, and C in this triangle? A equals two. Two. So two squared plus X. X squared. Good. Wait, let's pause here. Okay. Why is this B? Because it's shorter than that. Right? Okay, you know C because C is across from the 90. Okay, good. So what's 2 squared, everybody? 4 plus x squared equals what's 4 squared? 16. So then x squared equals 12. Okay, we're getting there. Now, x has to be the square root of 12, and you're like, oh, but it's not there. It's not. So what do you do? You, you factor it. Can anyone find what is a perfect square that's a factor of 12? Three. Four. We have the square root of 4 and the square root of 3. What's the square root of 4? Two. two. So it is 2 square root of 3. Do you guys get that? What? No. Okay. The square root of 12 is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Does that make sense? And mm -hmm. do we know what the square root of 4 is? It's two. 2. So this becomes a whole number. This remains a radical. So 2 square root of 3. That's x. This is about to get totally almost psychedelic. Because we're doing the area of a rectangle. What's the base of this rectangle? 4. Four. 4. What's the height? 2 square root of 3. 2 square root of 3. So what would the area be? 8 square root of 3 units squared. Now I want you to think about something. What was the measure? What was the area of the triangle? Four, Four square root of three. three. What did I tell you about triangles? Aren't they half of rectangles? Yeah. Oh, so you could just do that instead. If you know what you're doing. I see. I want you to see the connection. What? That's what I mean. It's a psychedelic circle. All of a sudden, we did all this work. We ended up with something we already knew. When what you're aware, you can do it from a lot of directions. Any questions? I'm sorry? Let's do another one. P, okay. P is going to be 4 plus 2 square root of 3 plus 4 plus 2 square root of 3. Can I add 4 plus 2 square root of 3? No. No. Can I add 4 plus 4? Yes. So 4 plus 4 is what? 8. 8. 2 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 3 is? 4 square root of 3. 4 square root of 3. So the perimeter is going to be? 8 plus 4 square root of 3 units. We put the parentheses to show that these things go together. Okay? Challenging problem. 
That's a, that's a thinking person's problem. And then on top of that, the shaded area. Well, the shaded area is what happens when you take the rectangle and subtract the triangle area. So what was the rectangle area here? Eight square root of three minus what's the triangle? Four square root of three. What's eight square root of three minus four square root of three? Four square root of three. Four square root of three, square root of three unit squared. So it's going to be just like the triangle. It should be, because remember what we did in that level three. We cut the, cut the triangle out of the square. When we put these two together, what's it going to make? A triangle exactly like that. Wow. OK, so that's, that's challenging, but that's why I'm throwing it out there. If you understand this, SAT is going to be not that hard for you. These are the kind of things that those, the high level problems in the SAT and the star. So pretty awesome. Okay, let's look at this one. Um, everybody, do you see a hidden right triangle inside this problem? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So what will be A, B, and C in this right triangle that we have right here? 8 is A. 8 is also B. X is C. So what we've got is 8 squared plus 8 squared equals X squared. What's 8 squared? 64, 64 plus 64. 64 equals x squared. What's 64 plus 64? Um, one, 128, 128. Okay, so x squared equals 128. We tried to do the square root. We're like crossing our fingers. Please be there, please be there, please be there. No. Nope. Rats. It's not there. Okay. And I knew it wouldn't be. But I want you to think about something. I know that if 64 plus 64 equals 128, then 128 must be 2 times 64. Do you guys follow that logic there? Yes. Okay. What is the square root of 64? 8. 8. So that becomes 8. We keep the square root of 2. x equals 8 square root of 2. Pythagorean theorem. Cuando sumamos, okay, 128 is 2 times 64. So, los factores son 2 y 64, y la, la raíz cuadrada de 64 es 8, y no puedes hacer esta raíz, entonces tienes este número, y este es X. ¿Estamos bien? Okay, now guys, if we know that X is 8 squared 2, is X the radius or the diameter? Diameter. Diameter. So what's the radius going to be? Um, four, four square root of two. Four square root of two. Okay. So the area of the circle is going to be pi times the radius squared. So it's going to be pi times four square root of two squared. So everybody, what's four squared? Four times four? Sixteen. 16. So it's pi times sixteen. What's the square root of two squared? What? What? The square root of 2 four. squared. It's the square root of 4. What's the square root of 4? Two. 2. See? The square root of 2 squared is the square root of 4. What's the square root of 4? 2. Which makes sense because the square root and the square are opposites. So when you square a square root, you end up with what's inside. Okay? So now what's 16 times 2? 32. 32. So the answer is 32 pi. For the area. For the area. 32 pi units squared. The circumference is going to be 8 square root of 2 times pi. Pi units. The area of the square is going to be, very simple, 8 times 8. What's 8 times 8? 64. 64, what? Units, Units squared. squared. The perimeter is going to be 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. What's that going to be? 32. 32 what? 32 units. And last, the shaded area, the shaded area will be the circle minus the square. 
So what was the area of the circle? No, the area of the circle. 32 pi minus, what was the area of the square? 64 units. 64. Okay, can we combine a pi term with a regular term? Nope. So our final answer is this unit squared, and that's that. Don't be intimidated. There are steps in there that you're probably going to need to practice a few times. But if you practice them, you'll realize that they're all right there within reach. So this will be on YouTube tonight, guaranteed. Okay, so best of luck. Take your time. Watch many times. Rewind many times. Work your way through that level four. Once again, these are slightly harder than the level fours that are on your worksheet and that will be on your quiz. This is the hardest thing I'm going to give you. So practice it. Thanks.